Welcome back to SS Productions. If you've been following our 2023 Europe travel series, you know that this is the fourth part, and today we are going to be exploring Amsterdam. We took the Thales from Brussels to Amsterdam, and it was really late at night, so as soon as we arrived, we went straight to our accommodation at the Linden Hotel to get some good sleep. Day one. After a glimpse of the beautiful canals, we walked over to the Anne Frank house. This is the actual place that Anne Frank and her family hid during World War II. Then we saw some more canals in the beautiful Nine Strats neighborhood, which we explored on foot. Next, we headed to Dam Square, which is the main square in Amsterdam. There are lots of historical buildings and structures, and a lot of events take place here. We walked over to Bloemen Market, a floating flower market that is also Amsterdam's most famous flower market. And of course, there were a lot of tulip related stuff here. We took a quick pit stop for some delicious churros, and then we spent our afternoon on a wonderful canal cruise. Amsterdam is home to 165 canals, with the total length of these canals being 75 kilometers or 46 miles. That is just crazy. Our boat had an open roof so we could see the beautiful buildings and scenery without a rooftop blocking it. And there was a fully open section in the back of the boat where we got some great views. Overall, the canal cruise was a lot of fun and a great way to explore Amsterdam. Once we got off the boat, we walked to a park in the Harlem neighborhood. And I want to take a moment to mention how many cyclists we saw in Amsterdam. I read somewhere that there are actually over 800,000 bikes in Amsterdam. The park we headed to this evening was called Wester Park. At Wester Park, there was a market happening with a bunch of jewelry and clothing stalls and some amazing food stalls as well. And of course, the actual park aspect of Wester Park was phenomenal. With lots of green space, the park was huge and never felt crowded, even though lots of people were at the park. There were lots of walking routes, biking routes, a playground, and a little lake where we saw some cute ducklings. And the park was in a very residential area that very much had a residential feel, if that's something you like. And a quick fun fact, those hooks you see on the top of Amsterdam's iconic houses are actually used to carry furniture to upper floors. Day two. Today we took a day trip from Amsterdam to Zanzeeshans. To get there, we took a train from Central Station. As soon as we arrived, we could see the historic windmills that made Zanzeeshans such a popular destination. And we got this beautiful vista of the windmills across the river Zan. Besides the windmills, Zanzeeshans is known for its distinctive green wooden houses that were built to mimic the look of a typical 18th and 19th century village. Many of the green wooden houses are actually museums which have exhibits on regional attire, sawmills, oil mills, and so much more. And the scenery was so picturesque with huge grassy fields, water bodies, and of course the magnificent windmills. There's a wonderful cheese farm that you can visit at Zanze Shans. There is a tiny museum section, but the best part was the cheese shop, where you could taste and buy delicious cheeses. And these cheeses were not just ordinary cheeses. There were so many unique flavors and cheeses made from goat's milk and sheep's milk as well. There is an expensive pasture right outside with sheep, cows, and goats grazing. Next up was the Clog Museum and Workshop. Again, there was a little museum section here, but the best part was getting to see the clog making in action. We didn't have a great view during the first demonstration we saw, but the next demonstration was literally two minutes later. And this time we got a great seat to see the process in action. It was so cool to see a block of wood transformed into footwear in a matter of minutes. 
clogs originate here in the Netherlands and they are known for their incredible durability. The clog shop offered so many sizes and colors of clogs. It was so colorful and aesthetically pleasing. Back in Amsterdam, we visited Dam Square again because we loved the lively vibe the first time we came. And then we ended our day with another park called Vondel Park. The park was huge and we saw some of the cutest ducklings. We had a great time relaxing in the serene and peaceful nature and we attempted to take some cool footage but watching it back it was just too funny not to share. Overall we had a great time at the park and would highly recommend it as a relaxing addition to your trip. We went back to our hotel and we wanted to show you how cool the building looks. It's like a triangle. All trips come to an end and unfortunately this was the end of our trip. So we headed to the airport to go back home. And although we leave Europe, we take with us the incredible memories we have made during our 2023 Europe travel series. From London, to Paris, to Belgium, and now Amsterdam, we saw some truly incredible places. So thank you for coming along. So until next time, thanks for watching.